Good afternoon and welcome to the episode two of the Teacher Tech series. At this time we are exploring the use of smartphone and tablet apps as teacher tools to help make your job as a teacher easier, uh, faster, and, and to no longer waste time on menial tasks that can be accomplished using the device that you have in your pocket or possibly in your bag. Uh, that you most likely are not utilizing as much as you could to make your life easier in the classroom. My name is Michael Duran. I am a teacher currently at Kempner High School in Fort Bend ISD in the Houston, Texas area. I have a background in technology as well as now 13 years in education. And so I really enjoy making use of technology that we have available uh, in order to um, make our not only just make our jobs easier, but to help us to provide a better level of service and educational experience for our students. The less time we're spending doing things like grading papers, um, certainly the more time we can spend on planning and uh, giving attention to our students' needs. Uh, today we're going to talk about ZipGrade. Now, ZipGrade is a smartphone app available for Android, iPhone, also available for iPad, uh, as well as your Android tablets, to include your Kindle Fire, if you happen to have one of those. I My particular device is an Android device, but you'll find the iPhone version to be quite similar. Um, here I have it installed. I made a little group on my phone for teacher tools, I call it, and these are just a few of the ones that I use. There are others, and you have the icon ZipGrade. If you don't have it installed, obviously you need to install it on a Google phone or Google device. You go to the to the Google Play Store and just search for ZipGrade. On an Apple device, you go to the Apple App Store and search for ZipGrade. Right. Once you have it, you do simply launch the application, and you will find, actually, Mine looks a little different than how yours will look because mine has already been set up and used. But you'll initially have to create a login and password. I'm sure that you are able to, to do that relatively easily. You'll find uh, a lot of things here, including the ability to create new, new quizzes or tests to add students and so forth. Uh, a lot of this you can do on what they call the cloud. And the cloud, I'm going to click here on the cloud icon. Um, and on the phone, it actually, of course, it prompts you to extend your subscription um, because it's not it's not free. We'll talk about that towards the end, uh, but it's not expensive either. And the, the cloud updates upload your data to the ZipGrade website, and that's what we're going to flip over to next to the uh, ZipGrade website. All right. Okay. Well, when you get to the ZipGrade website, it looks something like this, and of course, they're, they're a little advertising and whatnot. Uh, currently, you see that I am logged in. So what I'm going to do is go over here to my classes, the classes, and in classes, you'll create your classes, as obvious. I've created one here called Duran Sample Class. Duran is me. Um, and over here to the right, once you've created a class, and once you have added students, you go here and you add students, okay? Once you've added students, I'm not going to dwell on the student names because I have some real names in there that don't need to be on this video. But once you have done that, you add them to your class. I actually have created some sample students and a sample class. It's only five students, but it will get you the idea of how this works. And at this point, you can download grade sheets with the students' names uh, and ID numbers already in place. Uh, for the 50 question or the 100 question. There, are, there is also a 20 question form, but there, it doesn't allow you to pre-fill that one. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Even if you use a 50 question form, you don't have to have 50 questions. So for instance, my sample here has only five. So you would click here to download your grade sheets. It downloads pretty fast, open it. And here you're gonna have an individual sheet for each student with their names already in place and ID numbers already in place. Click print. You have your class set of answer sheets. You go give them their answer sheet. They complete their test or quiz. Once you're done with that, they, they turn in their papers to you. And then we're going to go back to the 
app on the phone. Okay, so once you're back to the app on the phone, you're going to go to your quizzes, right? And we're going to have to actually um, create a new quiz. So click new. I'm going to choose a 50 question quiz because that's the answer sheet that I've used. Okay, and at this point, you need to edit your key. You do have to create a key. You can create a key by scanning one, which uh, you may prefer, or I find it easier just to simply click Edit Key. And it gives you the chance to go ahead and click with your finger the answers that are correct. Obviously, I'm just doing an extremely simple example. Uh, you don't have to click Save or anything. It's already there. It's good to go. I have five questions now. It says number of questions, five. At this time, what we would do is we need to go ahead and scan our papers. And what you'll do is go ahead and place your papers on a flat surface that your students have turned into you. Go ahead and get your smartphone out or your tablet with ZipGrade running and get that set up. And what we're going to do is select the quiz that we have created. In this case, it's got a random number, but you can rename it, like I said. And we get to this screen. You can see it's five questions. We're going to go ahead and click Scan Papers. At that time, it will activate the camera on your phone. You're going to hold the camera up over the papers, align the green uh, dots with the black dots on your paper. It's a little hard to tell in this demonstration because of the, the drakiness of the recording. Uh, but you can see it picks up the, the grade. Uh, Art Vandalay here is one of the students. He's scored a 40. And go ahead, it, as, soon as, you, as soon as it picks up a score, it actually vibrates just very slightly in your hand so you know. And in addition to that, it, it shows on the screen the name of the student and what their score is. Um, and you'll have greater access to that data in just a moment. See so Peter Griffin got a 60. And... Paper number four. Well, all I'm doing here is is uh, holding the camera up over the papers and pulling one paper out of the way for the next one. Okay. Uh, once I have all all of them graded, we are going to go ahead and uh, click back on the app and get back to your app. And here, with, and you see now that we have five papers graded. Average is 72, and so on. Now, can you view the papers? Am I doing so? I can actually physically see what the paper looked like, which will help you to make sure that you didn't make have any uh, technological glitches that would have affected your paper or grading, and that confirm that the incorrect ones are wrong. You can just flip through it as quickly as that. Okay, so that data has already been uploaded. We can see that if we go back to the main screen, look on cloud, we see that last data sync. And for me, uh, that was just moments ago. I'll just go ahead and click Sync Now just in case it didn't. Normally, it's, it's automatic, so you don't really have to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my phone aside. We're going to flip back over to the ZipGrade website, the cloud, or ZipGrade Cloud, as they call it. And here we are. Okay, let's go back to Quizzes. And now you see the quiz that was created. Again, you can rename this to whatever you want. It's just a default name. And you see that there were number of questions were five. We're going to click on that quiz. Um, it gives you some reports and some data about your scores. Your individual student scores are here. Uh, it gives you the um, your breakdown over here, item analysis. Uh, you can export this as a as a PDF or as a CSV. If you like to play with Excel, you'll definitely want to play with the CSV. You can print this information, and obviously it alphabetizes your students. So you open your gradebook in one window, open ZipGrade in the other window, and just type them away. Or if your gradebook allows the importing of CSV, then you could do this. Um, this is just sort of a basic run through of ZipGrade. the The cost of this app. I believe is $9.99 for an iPhone or iPad. Um, I, I don't have I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not sure 100% sure. 
For the Android, it is $1.99 for two months of unlimited use or $6.99 per year of unlimited use during a year. I think probably the best seven bucks that you'll ever spend on a very simple teaching tool. Other than your seven bucks, it's not going to cost you anything else. Uh, it will save you time, uh, legwork, and it'll allow more time for you to do things for your students uh, rather than writing papers or running down and trying to find a working Scantron machine. Uh, thank you for your time. And if you have any, uh, any questions for me, you can email me at michael.duran at gmail.com. Thank you.